Hello, I want to show you how to calculate mean, median, and mode in a Google Sheet. So I've just entered in some numbers that I picked out, out of the clear blue sky and I typed in the words mean, median, and mode. I put them down a couple of lines from the numbers that I typed in because I need to put some sort of intermediate steps in between. But those are just things I clicked on a cell and typed it. That's all I've done and I haven't done any calculations or anything like that yet. So first thing I want to do is work on the mean. And to find mean by hand, remember we add up all of our data items and then divide by how many we have. So I'm going to mimic that and I'll call it the by hand method but we're going to mimic it in Excel and let Excel do all the calculating, the adding and so forth. And then we'll do one more calculation which will be for mean it will be the Excel or not Excel, it'll be the Google method to calculate the mean. So we'll start off, um, the first thing I need to do is find the sum of all the values and to do that I can click on the first value and then hold down control shift and then push the down arrow and that'll select all of my data up to the very last number and so I can see that's actually the data that I typed in and then what I'll do is the summation which I can see up here on the top bar it says functions if I just click on that it'll give me the sum of all those data items and you can see the Google code for what it's going to calculate is equals sum and then it gives the range of numbers from B1 which is this spot here B and 1 and then all the way down to B11 and it's showing me in green that that's the region that is being used to create the sum so I know that it's summing the correct values. Push enter and it'll calculate a number for me and there it is 177 now the next thing I need to know is how many items do I have in my chart and I can find that pretty easily too there's a function equal uh, we'll put in here because that's my total number and equals count and you can see it tells you a little bit more if you just start typing when you're in Google and you want to have it calculate something for you you use the equals equals tells Google that you're about to do a calculation and it it needs to pay attention to the things that you type after otherwise it just lets you type whatever you want and it just ignores what's in the cell but since I want Google to do a calculation for me I start with equals and then I'm going to give it a function name which happens to be count in this case so I type in count and it's showing me the format that I need to put parentheses and then what values I want it to count. Now it's just going to count up how many cells have a number in them. So again I'll start at the first one and if I do control shift down arrow, I'll do it here, control shift down arrow, it's actually capturing the sum as well as all the data values and I don't want the sum so I can hold down my shift button and move my up arrow to go up one or I can just start at the beginning where my data is push and hold on the first cell and then drag my cursor down to select the rest of the cells so I do the other option is I could type it in B1 colon B11 just like it's showing right there and then right parenthesis that tells Google that I'm finished entering data and I push enter and it tells me I have 11 items I can also come over here to the left side and see that I started at item number one all the way down to 11 so I agree there are 11 items there then to calculate the mean and I'm going to modify this slightly and say mean space and I'm going to put quotes because I want you to remember this is what I'm talking about when I say the by hand method is using the long method where we're actually doing all the calculation pieces here so this one will just say equals telling Google again we want you to do a calculation not just write down whatever we typed and I want to take the sum so I'll click on the sum and it gives me that cell reference B12 and then divided by because I want to divide by the N or how many items I have so I just click on each of the the data or calculated figures that I want to use in a calculation it'll automatically stick them into the calculation for me so what it's showing me now is that I'm going to take this 177 divided by the 11 exactly what I want it to do 
and when I'm done typing in my commands here I just push enter and you can see it's 16.090909 and repeating and I really don't want to show that many decimals maybe four at the most probably more likely two so what I'll do is come up here um, to the numbers across here and it says you can choose how many decimals you want if you just want two decimal places you can select that or if you do want to show more decimal places then you would go here to custom decimals and you could put in four or six however many you want it to show and then OK so now it's just showing me four decimal places and that's nice now I want to put in the mean by the Google function because there is a function that Google has that will calculate the mean for you and to do that I want to insert a row right above where median is so I click on the median and I'm clicking when I say click on that row I'm clicking on the number to the left of the row so I click on the 15 there and then I'll right click and I'll say insert one above so it's just going to put one empty row in right above where I'm sitting perfect that's what I wanted now I can type in mean and this one's not going to be by hand mean and it's not going to be by hand but it's going to be by Google and so I'm going to use Google's function and when I do that I can check my work against Google and see if I calculated the mean correctly and if it matches what Google comes up with then I know for sure I did so to do the Google function I say equals and its word is average so you type in average left parenthesis and again I have to select my data this time I'm going to be fancy and and type in the road the cell indicator so it's going to be B1 and then you can use colon to tell it go all the way to and I see it's B 11 that's the end of my of my data and I can see here that it put the green um, dotted line around the cells that it has selected that I typed in that it, it selected and I can verify visually that that's the right group and then right parenthesis and push enter same problem again it's telling me you the exact mean but it's giving me too many decimal places so I can come up here to the 1.23 go to custom decimals and put in four so that I only have four decimal places showing then when I get to the median um, there is an Excel function that will calculate the median for you and we can just er, when I get to the median there is a Google function that will calculate the median for you and I can just use that and it's equal median and again select the data values so I, I clicked on the first one pushed and held my mouse down dragged down to the last number and then I release the mouse put my right parenthesis and push enter it's telling me the median of my data values is six so all of these data values the middle number the one at the exact middle is a six okay then mode so Google has a function to find the mode it's equals mode and we'll go back one what it's telling you here is that if several values have the same frequency like the most often then Google's going to return the smallest value and an error is going to occur if there is no mode in your data set so if it says error or something like that you know that there's just not a mode it's not a problem in Google it's just there's no mode so this is telling you quite a bit about the about the mode function and then left parenthesis select my data again and right parenthesis push enter and it's telling me the mode is 44 which I think it's a little instructions were a bit backwards because I see that I have um, three modes and 44 is not the smallest of the modes so if I select my data and then come to data I can sort sort range because I just want it to sort the part that I selected then sort it from A to Z so I'll just do that and it'll put all my numbers in numeric order for me and then I can see that I do have two fours and I have two sixes and I have two forty fours so Google came up with a mode of forty four 
but actually I also have six and four, or I could put them in numeric order, four, six, and 44. So Google's mode feature is not very helpful, but it does at least give you one of the modes if you have multiple modes. Okay, and so now it, this is another thing you might see periodically. It's assuming what I typed in was a date. So it's converted it into date format, and that's not what it was. So I'm going to come back here to the formatting, and I'm going to tell it it's just plain text, and I don't want you to do anything else with it. So there it is, and now I can try one more time, 4, 6, 44, and it'll leave it in that format for me. Okay, a couple of things to clean up my file here. The first one is I want to make my columns the right width according to the data that's in them. So I'll come right in between A and B, which is the, t the first two columns, and I get that little line with an arrow on each end. So I'll just double click right there, and it'll adjust my column widths for me. I'll do the same thing on column B between B and C. So I go there, double click, and it made it a little bit shorter because I didn't need such a wide column. And one more time on column C, and it made it even a little bit smaller on that column as well. Okay, now the last thing I want to show you is how to copy this into a Word file or a Google Sheet, a Google Doc, either one. So I select the data and then I will do a control C and remember um, first thing I forgot to tell you is we should put a title on this and this would be Mrs. Brown central tendency and I just push enter and then now it's named my file and it stored it for me on Google Drive which is on the internet somewhere and then I can go over here to the very left side where it shows the open Google Drive and so it's going to show me where that file is there it is, Mrs. Brown's Central Tendency.